My name is Jennifer Kaldenberg and I'm an occupational therapist and I work with older adults who have vision loss. An occupational therapist can do many things um, to assist someone who has had a visual impairment. When I go to some, a client's home, um, oftentimes I'm looking at the environment and I'm looking at how the environment may either help someone do the activities they want to be able to do or maybe make it more difficult. So I might look at the contrast. So are, are things easy to identify? The wall from the light switch cover or you know how's the lighting? Does the, the lighting, um, is it bright enough to be able to um, identify items on a table? Um, I'm looking at safety, so is there um, a lot of clutter in a hallway um, or are the walkways wide and clear so that someone using a walker can easily get down from the living room maybe into the bathroom. Um, I'm looking at what kinds of equipment does a client use. For example, in a bathroom, if someone uses a bath bench and a grab bar, are they able to identify it with the lighting or the contrast that's in, in the environment? Uh, I also teach a client maybe some compensatory strategies so that they're able to rely on other senses um, than their vision. For example, sometimes I use little marking dots uh, or bump dots um, for marking appliances so that instead of using their vision to identify 350 degrees on the oven, they can simply just feel for that marking um, so that they don't have to necessarily bend and kind of um, put themselves at risk for an injury because they have to get closer to um, the object to be able to see it. 